Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for having us here today. We appreciate the opportunity to present one of our projects. We're going to talk about bridging the knowledge gap, connecting a global network of nonprofits with Drupal. Let's start with introducing ourselves. Uh, we are from Brainstorm, a Drupal-focused agency. Our mission is to create value for our clients, but also to make a greater good via impactful projects and open source, of course. Uh, we deliver full projects from UX, discovery to implementation, and continue support on the long run. We believe in open source, and this approach enables us working even with the largest organizations. My name is Jofia Alfeldi. I'm a project manager at Brainsum, a certified professional scrum master and a certified associate in project management. I've collaborated on 12 plus NGO related projects, both as a scrum master and the project manager. I'm Peter Ponya. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Brainsum. And part of my job is to find the right technologies for our clients. And guess what? I usually find Drupal the right one. Um, we used to say Drupal is a CMS framework, uh, but I believe it's much better to show uh, by example why Drupal is much more than a CMS. We've built and delivered all kinds of web applications from this list. Drupal is great for e-learning, digital asset management. It can power microsite builder platforms and much more. Now we tend to say Drupal is great for content heavy web applications. Uh, in this case, we created a social knowledge sharing and collaboration platform, and we will give you insights about this ambitious project. Jofi, please introduce the client and the objectives. Um, the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies is the world's largest humanitarian network, and the other key stakeholder was the Financial Development Competency Network, which brings together RCRC financial management practitioners throughout the world. Our objectives were to strengthen the community of uh, finance experts, to design and develop a platform which is in harmonization with the financial management standards, tools and resources that are made available to the RCRC movement at large through a collaborative community of practice. During the selection process, we faced competition from some of the largest players. Uh, first of all, there was uh, SharePoint and Teams, the standard tools of uh, the Red Cross. Uh, then came Microsoft's Yammer, Microsoft's social internet uh, tool, and Workplace from Facebook. Um, at the end, the lack of certain customization options and due to the, some special uh, feature requirements, for example, the hybrid single sign-on, letting in outsiders uh, had helped us winning this tender with an open source solution. Um, let's move on and explain our general approach and uh, what was specific to this project. Rofi, please. The most important part in our approach was to understand the project, to develop a, a website uh, with the ability to maintain the stability as well as to continuously improve. Although ideas were existing as to the network and its online platform, the real user needs are the, at the core of this development. From our UX perspective, this project became special as the client has done their research beforehand. <clears throat> um, they worked together with a designer uh, and created the user needs study and the UI UX design. While they worked together with a designer, they weren't really sure of the outcome. The first idea was to have a custom-built web application, but during the initial meetings, it became clear that the open source approach will be the best fit for their need. Uh, this meant that our standard UX processes were overwritten, and we quickly found ourselves in a rather precarious situation, as we feared that there might be some misunderstanding regarding the main objectives and the user's uh, real needs. To avoid this misunderstanding, the user personas have been created by us. With the workshops organized, uh, we could uh, analyze, review, and validate these personas, so the picture became more clear. Six personas have been created, which covered the main pain points, 
and the target features for the future users. These are extremely important as we aim the, to create a, a website where each individual can find a way to connect, share knowledge and get help. All in all, we decided to grab the famous open social Drupal distribution and tailored it and extended it with custom features. Um, we added or altered the following features. We added a custom main page, we enhanced the community feed, we made it possible to upload images and documents directly to posts, uh, we extended the member directory with filters, we added featured topics, blogs, and touch the all topics feature as well. Uh, we extended how the sub-community support works, and uh, we added a fully custom-built community resource module. Uh, we also added an events calendar. Uh, Jofi will guide you through each one of these. After login, the homepage instantly supports networking and connecting. The featured post section displays the most recent posts or the ones that get the most interactions, likes on it, or the ones that are deemed important by the site managers. We get several other important information straight away, such as the available sub-communities to join, the upcoming events, the featured resources, topics, and so on. The community feed has many perks, such as the image and the file uploading. Interesting info is that each of the uploaded items are being scanned by an antivirus system to avoid malicious file spreading. Interacting with the posts are encouraged with the comment section. Here, the file and the image uploading is available as well. We can see here the members directory enhanced with filters, so the people can easily find users based on their expertise, organization, or date of registration. From the list, a private message can be sent straight away, or we can view the person's activity on their profile page. Topics are great conversation starters and come in many forms, blogs, news, or discussion. This section helps the site managers to highlight the most relevant topics of FDCN. Of course, there is an all topics page created with filters as well, so the users can easily sort through and find the relevant content. We can find here the create topic button, so a new content can be easily added. Subcommunities are the heart of the platform. To make connecting with each other smoother, and the users can join to sub-communities that are relevant to their expertise. Um, these sub-communities are managed by the community managers and have different visibility settings. Some are free to join, others require a request to join or only available after invitation. The community resources are the core of sharing knowledge. Templates, reports, guidance, and toolkits are some of the, the available types. Two status have been separated when uploading a document. Uh, community resources uploaded by the community members or the validated resources through the IFRC quality assurance process. While at first glance we could see the task of finding a relevant document uh, mission impossible, the available sorting options tags and filters help us greatly in solving this issue. And last but not least, events will promote the engagement uh, of the members and help the community spread the world while continuously growing. We can view the upcoming events or the past events in a calendar or on a lister page. And, uh, And uh, each of the events can be saved to our own calendar, uh, for example, Google, Yahoo, or Outlook. These are the main functionalities without the need for completeness as the time is limited today. Okay, so uh, very nice. We added all these features, but uh, was it worth it? Did they really work? Uh, we are obsessed with clear measurable results and the KPI analytics section provided a great spectrum of visualized data and we even tailored it. 
So on this graph, uh, we can see the steady growth of the numbers of users in the system, especially after it was introduced to a, uh, oops, it's frozen. Yep. Hmm? Okay. Uh, Okay. You guys just have to believe us. <laughs> okay. So believe us, there is a steady growth in the number of active users. And yeah, here it is. Um, uh, on the other side, the contributions should also grow higher over time, but the expertise is not distributed equally in this network. And uh, the other reason behind this is that, as you all know from the Drupal community, it's kind of hard to turn content consumers to content contributors. Um, yeah, if we take a look at uh, this other dimension, we can see that a wide variety, dozens of expertises are represented by the users, and this makes the platform very useful for its members seeking advice. Yeah. Um, this map shows how truly global this platform is. The numbers on this slide are not the numbers of users, but the numbers of organizations from various geographic regions. Uh, we know, for example, that the financial practitioners are working on a small island uh, for the Red Cross, the local Red Cross, uh, was able to reach out and get advice from an expert in Norway. We can also track the ratio between likes and comments on topics. Uh, and on top of likes and topics, the very important uh, number, the actual enrollments to events over time. Okay, let's move on and uh, check how it was actually working with uh, open social uh, from a developer's perspective. Let's be honest and start with the difficulties. So, although Open Social is a well maintained uh, software distribution, uh, it requires a little bit different approach than working with Drupal uh, because many uh, Drupal module versions and uh, patches are basically set to certain uh, versions uh, in, in its composer JSON. Uh, this, at the end, led us uh, working with custom patches a lot. So, for example, there is a custom patch added to Open Social, but we need a newer one. We can just, cannot just add it, we, uh, and because we cannot remove the old one. So we had to create a new one, combining the old patch and the new one, and add it this way. So it's kind of a little bit tricky but it works. Uh, sometimes we also had to used to the situation that sometimes we have to wait, obviously, for the security updates because the open social maintainers require some time also to release them. Um, and uh, for example, uh, as per my latest knowledge, there is still no stable release for Drupal 10, but uh, it's, it's almost there and we also contributed with two small patches. Um, altering the ex uh, existing functionality can be also tricky. Uh, we had to take uh, really carefully the, the way, the ordering, the order precedence of how these alters are running to, to get the uh, behavior we, we wanted. Okay, let's move back to the bright side. What went really well? Oops. No, again. Okay. Okay, so I will talk about uh, some positive aspects as well, while we still see these difficulties. So uh, the KPI analytics, that's not uh, only powerful on the, on the UI, but also it was great working with it uh, as a developer. We had to extend it, we had to tailor it, and it was uh, uh, kind of easy and flexible. Um, then the notification system, 
there's a powerful notification system uh, in uh, open social also on the web ui the interface but also there is a way to get email updates on uh, topics or or anything a user follows uh, we even altered it a little bit we had another weekly digest option to it and it worked uh, pretty well it's kind of <laughs> it's a pity sorry I will try. Okay. Oh, it can remember. It's, uh, yes, yeah. Actually, yeah. Mm. Is someone here from uh, Go Gorilla, the open social team? Because uh, sorry for this slide. This I know that this is some critics. Uh, Okay, so I will just continue. Uh, theming was also, uh, it, it went well with open social. We had to uh, adhere to the look and feel, the, uh, oops, 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 something, something, something's there. Where is my, where is my presentation? Sorry, just a second. It's not even, no, it's not responding. It's, it's dead. It's not about the computer. Okay. Anyway, so theming was, uh, went well, but we have to admit that we agreed with the client that the main layouts for the community feed and these kind of main parts of open social will remain intact and we customized mostly the custom features and of course we generally added the brand uh, book. Uh, and uh, let's recap the conclusions. So overall open social we totally recommend it. It's out of the box, a full blown solution. Uh, you can even demo it to your clients uh, and start to manage expectations early. Uh, it's also customizable, uh, while sometimes it can be tricky, but so far everything was possible. Um, and uh, last key takeaways, so uh, open source one again, this time against Microsoft and Facebook, we are, we are really proud of, the, proud of it. And, uh, there was no need for a software as a service solution or any license software. And it took six months for four developers until the initial silent launch in December 2021. And another six months uh, until the official announcement and the opening for a wider audience in June 2022. Thank you for so, your attention. Thank you. For and your sorry attention. for the problems. <laughs> and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah. So what would you say the percentages of the open social distribution, additional contrib modules, and any extended business functionality configuration? Like what would be the percentages? Ooh, what would be the percentages? Oh, uh, okay, so I, I, I will repeat the question. So uh, what, what were the percentages between open social features and uh, contribute ad additional contributed modules and custom features? Uh, well, unfortunately, I don't have these numbers. Uh, I just uh, know that we touched on almost every part of open social, uh, and uh, I cannot tell that what would be the percentage in line of lines of code or what. But uh, um, I would say. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe if we change, exchange our contacts, I will, I will be able to give you. So actually, it was like one, one, one year or four, four developers to get there to to get this platform uh, customized and tailored to the client's need needs. And then the starting point was the pure open social. So maybe that's something. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. 
Well, then, thanks for your attention. <laughs>